Hi everybody, this is Cindy Gunter Baldo and welcome to another edition of Llama's Love Lettering. Today I'm gonna, <coughs> excuse me, today I'm going to teach you how to draw a goofy looking turkey. And this is a perfect um, little, little doodle that you can draw in your planner or you can do this on a holiday card or on a place card for Thanksgiving or whatever. I'm not, it's not necessarily going to look perfect, but I think it'll be fun. Now this is a little bit harder than some of the other doodles that I've done before. So I am going to put a worksheet up that shows a few of the stages that this turkey goes through. But hopefully, with a little practice, you should be able to get the hang of this pretty quickly. Okay? So for what you need to draw this turkey, at least what I'm using, you don't need these things, you can use whatever you want. But what I'm using is a pencil and an eraser and then whoops and then I'm going to use some pit artist pens they're black and they're water fast which means that they once they're dry they don't they don't bleed so that's awesome I don't like you know smear and I've got one in the S and I've got one in the M tips and I'm going to use the S for mostly for the inking in and then the M to do like an outline around the edges because I like that stylized look. Okay, so I'm using these to do the inking in. And then I have Tombow markers. That's what I'm using. You can use colored pencils. You can use, you know, whatever markers you have. You can not color it in at all. I'm using Tombows and I actually have a few different combinations of Tombows. So these two sets this like, I pick two tones for each kind of area that I'm doing except for a couple so that I can use them to do a color and then like another detail color within it and so I picked this set of yellow and darker yellow and this set of like a yellowy brown and a the kind of a red to do the feathers so that's what these two sets are for Keep them separate from each other <laughs> so don't make it mixed up I have two browns that I'm using for the body I have two other oranges, two different kinds of orange that I'm going to use for the beak and for the feet. And then I've got a couple singular colors. I have a red for the, the cockle. I think that's what that's called. I like that word. The cockle and whatever this thing is called. I don't know. I don't know technical turkey terms. I only see them when they're naked. And then um, for the, the neck, I've got like a pink. And those are the colors I'm using. Anyway, and then the last thing that I'm going to use is a piece of cardstock to work on. I like the cardstock. I'm going to check to make sure I'm still in frame since I'm not used to this particular um, filming. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to use a piece of cardstock. And I'm using this because it does bleed a little bit with the Tombows, but not very much. Anyway, so we're going to start to build this turkey. We're going to start with basic shapes. So for the body, I'm going to do like an like a elongated kind of oval. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it at an angle, okay? And that's gonna be for the body. And then for the head, I'm gonna do like a like a diamond to kind of put me in the right spot. I'm gonna do it a little bit above the edge of this oval, okay? So that's gonna be the head, and that's gonna be the body. And this is not perfect, but it'll do. I'm gonna do another oval overlapping this oval. Uh, it's kind of a janky oval, but whatever, <laughs> for the wing. And then I'm going to do, like, a for the fan of feathers, I'm going to kind of go across the top here like this and then bring it down. Do a kind of a, kind of a, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. I'm going to kind of just envision kind of where you want the turkey feathers to go. Now, okay, I'm not perfect with this. This is actually, I just sketch it now from memory. I don't go through all the steps now that I've figured it out. So I'm trying to backtrack to how I learned this in the first place. Okay. So there's your basic turkey shape. And then you want to do for your, your feet, we're going to have the feet. If you see here, the feet kind of go in two directions for perspective and they don't look totally, you know, realistic, but whatever. So I'm going to do like a line here for one leg and then a line a little further up for the other leg. And then this foot's going to kind of come down, so I'll do like another oval for that foot. And then this foot's going to go sideways, so I'm going to do a narrower oval for that one. So now you have the basic body shape of the turkey. This is your first step. And then you can connect 
the head to the body with a long, narrow kind of tube for the neck. Okay? So that's the basic body shape. Now to start filling the body shape in, I like to start with the face because the face has the most detail. So I'm going to go up here to the top of this oval and to do my goofy turkey, I like to have eyes that are slightly different in size. So I'm going to do one oval and then one slightly smaller oval. And then once I have those, I'm going to draw down and it's going to be kind of like a diamond shape and I'm going to bring it down to the bottom of the oval and then bring it back up. And that's going to be, and you could consider it going through the eyes for this like diamond shape, but that's for the beak. And then imagine drawing a circle right here on either side for the cheeks. Now you see this is going to be erased, like I can even erase it now, where that circle went into the beak. And you can do the same with the diamond going into the eyes. But that's going to be the the cheeks, like the, the round cheeks and the face. Now I'm going to keep checking the time on my camera because I happened to film this before and the reason this is later than I expected was because I filmed it before and then my camera shut off and I didn't notice. And then see where that circle kind of comes down? I'm going to keep that line there for the sides of the head. And then to draw the cockle, God, I hope that's what that's called. I just am doing kind of like a, like a, like a little doobly thing here. I don't know what that is, but you just bring it around and kind of add just the suggestion of whatever that is. And then the final detail on the face is whatever this thing is that looks kind of like a ball sack. Um, and to do that, I start under one of the eyes and I bring it down and I kind of loop it like a backwards J. And then I'll go back under the eyes, meet kind of the same spot and go back down and do the same loop, but a little higher up. Then I'll just connect that to that and then I'll go back up on top and just make a top part. And that kind of makes your whatever that thing is. <laughs> I know so many technical terms. And then the eyes are going to kind of be here and here. Just do one on the bottom and one on the top to make it look kind of goofy. Okay? So there's your face outline. Now for the body. Okay, so to start the body, I'm going to start with the wing. Because the wing is the, the closest to you. So go to your oval for your wing and kind of start at the top of where the oval kind of like apex is. And kind of swoop it down along the oval. But instead of following the oval around, bring it around like this. You can bring it up a little higher if you want to. But that will be like the first like feather. And then kind of find the same spot and bring it around and do another feather. Now usually what I've been doing that works is I bring in like three feathers that kind of come around like this and they kind of go up. And then when you start for the back of the turkey, come from the neck, come down, follow this. And when you hit that wing, kind of loop it around like another feather. And that sort of makes it all look like one piece. Okay? you just want to sort of move your lines around until you feel like it's not awkward anymore. Okay. Now, for the legs, for the leg that's in the front, it's going to look like it's coming out of the bottom of the body because that's where the perspective would have it. So I would just do a couple little lines and then connect them like this. Now, for the bottom leg, we'll save that for a second. Okay. So now come back to the top. Now bring it around like this. But stop there and then bring it under the wing. And that's the front of your body. Now you want to do the same kind of motion, but from as it was coming from behind the turkey. So you have two of those things, see? And then to suggest the other wing, just start up at the neck, kind of bring it around, then bring it out, and then bring it back in again. And that will give you the suggestion of the other wing. Okay? So there's your body kind of outlined. Now we'll do the feathers. And one of the best ways for me to start the feathers generally is to go with the one that's going to be the most prominent. It's going to be the one in the middle of the back. So come up to where your arch is, bring it around, and then taper it down. You don't want it to be perfectly straight. You don't want it to be like minuscule. You want it to be kind of like a slight taper. Then come to the side and start from the top and taper it down again and kind of follow your guideline tapering a little bit more as you get towards the edge. See how that sort of gets smaller? And then you do the same thing going this way, except because you have the turkey in the way, it might, you can just draw straight through the turkey if you want to, or in a race later, or you can guess at it. 
But since it's going this way, it's going to be shorter. I would just kind of bring it in like that. So you have your nice little fan of feathers. The final detail you want to add before you get ready to ink it in is your legs. Let me check my time again. <laughs> Doing good. Okay. So to do this back one, we're going to bring two lines straight down and I usually just do them around where the skinny line that I drew originally was. Okay. Now, to do the front of the foot, the way I'm doing this is I do it kind of like a peanut. So you start on one side, bring it down, bring it around, bring it back in, bring it around like a peanut. These feet are going to be kind of big and glumpy looking. I like that look. So there's kind of your peanut shape. You can make it smaller if you want to. If you feel like this peanut shape is a little bit large. I don't think we'll go with that one. Okay, so draw your peanut shape. I'm going to erase these other lines to not confuse the audience. Okay. Lines down. Draw your peanut shape. Okay, got your peanut. Now, for the next toe, follow the line of your peanut. When you hit about the crest of that peanutty part, break it away and bring it down and then bring it under like that. Like you're adding that middle toe. Okay? And then for the last toe, Follow that one until it crests around. Then when you come here, make add in the smaller third toe. So you just sort of add the two bumps. For the other leg, you're gonna bring your two lines down a little bit further because like this is the front, this is the front of the turkey. So you want to you want to keep it coming towards you. So bring your two lines down. Now start like a go to the like a little bit above the two lines. Loop it around, bring it in like the peanut, because you're same kind of show, uh, shape of the toe. But instead of doing the full peanut, just bring part of the toe in. Now for your other leg, you want to bring it down, but instead of starting here, you want to bring it around, like make it all one line, and make your other toe. And then you just bring your toes like that. I'm going to shorten this one a little bit, but yeah. So the general idea of your toes is that they're these big bumps. There we go. That's a little bit more. So you have your one line that comes all the way down in and then it starts here. And then you have your other line come around, bring it around like this and then make your bump. And then you have your three toes. And then I just like to add a little definition like that. Just like I like to add a little definition here at the bottom of the turkey neck. So now we have your sketched out turkey. Okay. So now that we have the sketch of the turkey, we're going to ink the turkey in. Now the gist of inking in the turkey is that you're going to just follow the lines that you want to keep. Now you could go with your pencil and clean it all up and like your eraser. But honestly, I found that if you just are careful with what you do and go slowly, you can just ink it in without doing too many adjustments. So I'm going to start with the eyes. Think about what you're doing and what you want to be in the foreground because that'll help you remember the parts that should not have stuff crossing over them. You know what I mean? So I'll do the eyes. And then the next thing that's in front is the balls thing, whatever this, whatever this situation is. My turkey anatomy is leaving something to the imagination here or maybe nothing to the imagination i don't know then i'm gonna do the beak and the beak is going to be behind the balls and then we'll do the half circles the bits of circles on the edge of the beak for the rest of the turkey face and i'm going to add a little smiley face to it it's a happy turkey he wants to be eaten we know that and then draw down the sides of the head Okay, so there's your, and then we'll add the, here we go, the cockle. Now you'll notice when I ink in, I don't follow the lines to a T. That's just my style. I figure it out as I go along what I want to ink in. It's totally up to you. Nobody's going to judge you for this. So there's the turkey face. So next we'll take the turkey neck down. Start up under the beak and just work your way down to the turkey neck. Have you ever noticed when you're cooking a turkey and you take the turkey neck out that it looks really, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Inappropriate. The turkey neck looks very inappropriate. 
Just thought I'd mention that. Okay, bring the arch of the back. And I'm gonna wait to pull in the feather until I'm done with the rest of the wing. Because I always screw this up and make it look kind of awkward. So I'm gonna do my best while I'm on camera to not make it look awkward. But that is entirely not necessarily something I can do, but you know what? I got it okay. Now I'm going to start from up here and bring the front of the body of the turkey down, the turkey breast, down to the leg, the one that goes up into the body, and there's the front of the turkey body. And then we'll add the other wing hiding tucked behind the turkey, and then the turkey little pants. They <laughs> look like pants, little turkey pants from behind the body. So there are the turkey pants. Okay, <laughs> that's my new name for them. Now I'm going to draw in the turkey wings. Now, one of the tricks with drawing, especially inking in, you want to try your hardest to keep the lines coming towards you. Your hand will be so much steadier if you keep the strokes, <laughs> strokes, if you keep the strokes coming towards you. Like if you have to rotate the drawing to keep your stroking coming, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> keep your stroking coming towards you, then it'll be so much easier. And I don't know how many of you have a problem with unsteady hands when it comes to inking in, especially when you've spent a lot of time refining your pencil drawing to be something that you like. And then you come to ink in and you're super worried that you're going to like wobble or screw it up. Keep your turkey stroke, keep all your strokes coming towards you and you will have such an easier time of it. Okay? Anyway, now the feet. The feet's probably the most awkward looking part. Just bring it down. Think of the peanut. Remember the peanut. Work around the peanut. Then remember the apex of the peanut to bring the toes down. And then the apex of that little peanut bit to bring that toe around. And there's your toes. And if you really want to be like fancy, you can add some claws, just like a little triangular. I don't usually do this, and this is actually a risk doing this on camera, but whatever. Add your little triangular turkey claws. Okay, now for the bottom. Start with the leg that's going to go into the foot. Bring it down, bring it around, same peanut motion, but don't bring it all the way in. Dig it in a little bit like that. Now start with your other leg, bring it down, but then swoop it up and bring it around. And then just add your last toe and connect all your lines. And then I guess you can add your little triangle, poor life decision, turkey claws. Then there's your inked in drawing. Now, give it like a little, if you want work fast give it a blow let me check and make sure everything is still in the right spot okay grab your eraser and this is a trick i use for when i erase for my line drawing my pen drawings i hold my hand like this on the page close to wherever it is i'm erasing because i like my pen drawings and my writing have a very heavy hand and with my heavy hand comes my heavy eraser and with my heavy eraser comes the unfortunateness of erasing too hard and crumpling the paper and screwing up everything that I worked for to make my life a miserable creation. So sorry if I'm shaking the camera. So if you hold your hand like flat, think about, you know, in, I live in California, all I know about like icy lakes is from what I've seen on Little Women. But you know when in Little Women in the Winona Ryder movie when um, Amy falls into the pond and Lori and Joe have to like lay flat on the ice to go get her so that she doesn't she doesn't drown. Um, same kind of concept. You want to flatten your hand on the paper so that it doesn't buckle under the weight of the erasing you're doing. Okay. Whoops. I always miss spots, whatever. Erasers are for suckers. Okay, so there's your turkey. Now we're gonna ink in this turkey, okay? And we're gonna start with the body. Let's see, which is my darker brown? I can't tell looking at these colors. This is my tester turkey. Dark. 
less dark. Okay. So the way I'm going to ink in the turkey is I'm going to just kind of, I'm going to speed this part of the video up, I think, just to show that I ink in. Because, well, no, you know what? People told me they like to hear my voice, so I'm going to let you hear my voice. We'll find a fast forward edition of this one day. I'll figure out a good balance. Anyway, I'm just, I'm doing this sloppy. I'm not doing this perfect because I do want this video to not be 45 years long, but I'm just working my way. Now, if your strokes are going to be visible, think about the feathers and how the way the feathers are going to lie. And that way you can bring your strokes down like this so that at least if people see strokes, it kind of, word shows up so often in art, they look kind of like they're going in the direction the feathers would be going anyway. So make sure to color in your turkey pants. Make sure to color in your turkey head. Okay, so there's your turkey body colored in. Then we're gonna add the detail. And this is a way that I like to add detail to a stylized drawing, which is what this is gonna be for me. And so this is gonna be the same kind of detail situation that I'm gonna do in all of the areas of this turkey. I'm gonna do like an inner outline of all of these areas with my darker color and then I may add a little bit more shading to areas with shadow but I'm not looking for a realistic turkey realistic turkeys don't look like this <laughs> just adding it for a little bit of details so like this back wing I'm going to probably color in mostly and this back pant I'm going to color in mostly and then I'm going to kind of add a little extra under the wing and then I might add a little bit of black kind of our darker brown into the eyes but it's gonna be a little sloppy and you know what handmade stuff is sloppy life is sloppy so we're gonna take the neck add some pink in for the neck I haven't usually been adding detail to the neck but I probably will once I get the whole thing done and I'll decide what it needs but at the moment I'm not really looking to do that Okay, so my beak, I'm going to take my lighter of my orange. Oops, I forgot to add my little detail of the foot. The little whatever. Okay, so I'm going to start with my beak. Fill in my orange. Fill in those two sides. Again, like I said, this is not the pro of coloring jobs. This is the fast and sloppy, but you're gonna understand how I color. And you don't have to, ironically, the one I spent the most time scribbling on is the one that looks the cleanest. That was originally my example for the first video. And then the one that I drew, this one was the one I did for the first video that I shot. And by the way, if you're getting like weird lights on this, I am trying really hard to find good spots to, for lighting. And right now I'm on the kitchen table and there's some light shining in. So this is, I work today instead of being home like I usually am on a day I film. So doing my best, doing my best to satisfy the masses. Okay, so we have the orange colored in. Now I'm gonna add the, the same kind of detail. I'm gonna go around the edges of the orange parts that I just did and kind of add a little bit of detail. Just going around Adds a little depth, a little cool stylization to it. You can try, you know, for your realism, you're not going to be doing the style of a turkey anyway. But shading is really fun with markers and colored pencils. And I will hopefully do a video on fun shading top techniques, but that is not this video. But if you are interested in seeing fun shading techniques, then by all means, leave a comment so I know. Now I'm going to add in the red for the balls and the cockles. And once again, I'm not going to add much detail to these. I'm just going to let them be an accent unless I decide later that it needs something. But I don't really think so. I think we're cool. So there's the cockle. Cockle and balls. <laughs> yeah, I'm clever. Okay. Next, we're going to color in the feathers. Now, the way I do the feathers is I take... I alternate. So I'm going to take the lightest of the yellows I'm using and I'm going to kind of shade it in with the yellow. Now, while it's still wet, I'm going to take the other yellow. I'm going to kind of pull up some color just to add the, the detail. 
And this is a trick you can do with Tombows or any other marker. And I'm going to edge it too with the same darker color. But this is a trick you can do with any any markers that blend, like a Tombow or a Copic or whatever, like one of those Spectrum Noir, um, any of those alcohol markers or water-based markers that blend nicely. But again, color pencils, you actually can create an effect similar to this really easily. It's just pull up your color, add that extra like bit of dimension to it just to make it look a little more interesting. And so I'm just gonna do, and remember what I said about bringing the strokes towards you? You can be, for so for when you're filling it in, you want to be firm and solid without a lot of like, without a lot of um, variation, bring it towards you. But then when you're doing this flicking, take it away from you. It's a lot easier to take it away from you than it is to bring it towards you. Just a little bit of extra outlining. Bring it towards you. And see, here's the thing. I had actually considered, um, I usually try and make the turkey feathers even so that I have ex even amount of colors, but I was not paying attention when I did this. Anyway, so that's the, the lighter shades. The lighter shades of feather, the 50 shades of feather. For the next round, grab your slightly darker color or whatever your lighter color of the second set that you picked. And then while it's still wet on the page, grab your other color and And that way you add some nice contrast with your feathers. It's hard when you're doing turkeys because so many of the same tones, the oranges, the browns, the reds, are present in so much of the turkey, you know, that it's hard to make it look different. And you could do different colors, but I like these colors. I love the fall. I am not an orange person when it comes to my stuff, but when it comes to like fall things, I think the orange colors look and the brown colors just look so reminiscent. And again, California, we don't have a lot of seasons here, but <laughs> but this just makes me feel like it's time to eat turkey and celebrate. This is the colors of your people, turkey. Let my people go. Okay, so we're just adding in the feathers one at a time. And then the last thing that I would do to really kind of give this definition is to grab your lighter brown and kind of go, is this my lighter brown or my darker brown? That's my lighter brown, okay. Kind of along the bottom if you want to, to kind of break it up just to, you don't have to do this step, I like it, but it doesn't necessarily look super clean. And then you can add a little shadow to the tips of the feathers to kind of, there we go. Okay, so you added some definition to your turkey. Now, it's time to do the fat border. So what I'm gonna do is I just take my fatter tipped pit pen, this is the medium tip, and I take it around the edges. And that kind of cleans it up. I'm doing this sloppy, but the same trick of bringing the stroke towards you applies to keep your hand steady. And I'm gonna add in the wing because I feel like I need a little bit more definition on the details of this turkey. So I'm normally I'll take the fat pen around and I will just do a single, a single um, around the edges border. But I really, let me see here, let me get a good look at this. Yeah, I like this definition. It's helping me with the sloppiness and all the colors that are so similar to each other. But then I'm going to just take it around the edges of my feet. But you see how adding just that extra thick bit just makes it look so much more done. 
This is a trick actually they use a lot in kawaii drawing. The thick border really makes it stand out. Then I'm going to add it to the neck. I go in, just clean up your drawings a little bit with a little bit more definition if you feel like that's necessary. And in this case I do because it is a little sloppy. This is what happens when I draw on camera. Everybody expects me to do well so I get sloppy. But it's fine. Draw just ink over everything you did. Do the cockle. That's a little dark, but whatever. It looks awesome in the light. Anyway, then if you want to like finish it off, add a little add a little llama love lettering. What the hell am I doing this for? I could do the photography or I'm getting better with the brush pen. Gobble. I'm going to do gobble up because I don't want to write gobble gobble right now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I hope you had some fun watching this episode of Llama's Love Lettering, learning how to draw the turkey. You see with all my extra outlinings, but then you can see with this one and this one, this one especially, I didn't do a lot of extra outlining because I wasn't quite as sloppy. Anyway, I'd love to see your version of the turkey. So please follow me on Instagram at, at Llama Letters, or you can find the worksheets at www.llamasloveLettering.com. Tag it, Llamas Love Lettering, on ha hashtag it on Instagram. Please let me know. I really want to see what you're doing. And hopefully you come up with a pretty cool turkey at some point or another. And if you do, show it to me. Love to see it. And I will talk to you next time.